Want to cover windows with barnwood doors short on time? This is the time-optimized version of how to make barnwood door covers. If you'd like to see the full-length version with more detail, link is in the description. Here we go! For this project, we'll use 1x6 shiplap and 1x4 common board. Measure your windows to determine your height and your width. Round your height to the nearest full width of a shiplap board. Decide whether or not you want to keep the lips on the top or bottom of the shiplap. For square windows, your remaining height will then be your width. Cut all of your shiplap to the same shutter width. Keep your scraps for stain testing. Then for the top piece and the bottom piece, you can cut off the extra lip according to whatever dimensions you planned. Sand both sides of your shiplap to help with staining. Then you're ready to glue them together. To glue, alternate every other face of the shiplap so you glue it with no gaps. As the glue is drying, you can move on to framing your common board pieces. This is the design for the X pattern. We'll be screwing all these pieces together with pocket holes and screws. Cut two pieces the same width of your shiplap and the remaining dimension for the boards on the side. Be sure to set your jig before you start to the three-quarter width on both the jig and the drill bit stop. Screw together your outside border first. Lay out your frame and make sure all your pocket holes are drilled on the same face. Drill two holes per connection on the sideboards only. When you're ready to put them together, switch to a low torque setting on your screw gun so you don't drive the screws in too far. You can use glue if you'd like and then clamp them together or lay them on a flat surface. Use inch and a quarter Craig pocket screws to screw your outside frame together. Wipe off any excess glue and then you're ready to build the cross pieces. Take your built frame and lay it on a flat table. Then line up your uncut cross piece to your top and bottom corners. Mark the top and the bottom cross piece where they intersect your square frame. Connect your two lines and this will be the angle you cut. For your second piece you can mark and cut just like you did for your first board. And then mark your intersections from your other cross piece. Transfer your line to the top, connect the dots, and then cut along your line and that's your angle. If it's not just right, you can make fine adjustments with your saw or by sanding. Make sure all your pieces fit together and line up. Then flip it over, drill all the pocket holes on the same face you don't want showing. Add some glue and screw it all together. Once your frame is together, it's time to stain it. For this look, we use the carbon gray from Varathane. Wipe it on thick, let it sit for two to three minutes, and then wipe away the remaining with a cloth. Your common board cross piece then lays on top of your shiplap, hiding the pocket screws. Take inch and a quarter wood screws and screw the two pieces together from the back. Five screws worked fine for us. Now you can add your mounting brackets. We just bought a two door long rail kit. Per their instructions, we measured it out and drilled two half inch holes. The kit came with the bolt, the washers, and the acorn nut to mount the brackets. For this length of rail, lay it on the floor first to center it. Measure your door placement over your windows to center vertically. Transfer the dimensions to the wall to mark your very outside holes. Ensure your width is correct and then hang your rails by the outside holes. Then match your rails in the middle, determine level, and transfer your holes to mark the walls. Drill a very small pilot hole in each of your markings to determine if you'll hit a stud. If you don't hit a stud or solid wood, use heavy-duty drywall anchors. Consider hot gluing some felt to the back so the hardware doesn't damage the wall. Add some rail guards with a single pilot hole and screw to prevent it from coming off the rail. And that's it! Hopefully you enjoyed the time-optimized version of how to make barnwood door covers. If you want the full-length video, check it out in the description. Like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you loved it. Have a great day!